In 2002, Becky Calder took to the skies of Afghanistan as an F-18 pilot covering troops in need of air support. Two years later, she attended the U.S. Navy's Fighter Weapons School, better known as Top Gun. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And I heard you just retired. Can you tell me about that? I can. I just retired on June 1st after 25 years of service, so it's pretty exciting. You were in the reserves. When did you join the Navy? Why did you join the Navy? Can you talk about that? Sure. I joined the Navy as a plebe at the Naval Academy. Um, and actually, I just talked about it at my uh, talk. It was July 2nd, 1994 is the day that I joined the military. I went to the Naval Academy, and to be honest, the only reason that I joined the military was basketball. So I wanted to play Division I basketball, and the Naval Academy recruited me, and I said yes. So to go from just wanting to play basketball and then the rigor of being a fighter pilot, why did you go that track? So I, I went to the Naval Academy to play basketball, and obviously when you go there, you have to um, select something for your service assignment, and it was actually a mentor of mine. He was the deputy commandant of the, um, of the academy at the time, and his name was Colonel Bolden, and he was a huge fan of women's basketball, and he came to the court one day at practice, and I mean, no kidding, he looked at me and he said, Becky, you would make a great F-18 pilot. And at that time, the combat exclusion law had just been lifted for women. So this wasn't something that like, I sought out to do or something that I had always thought I wanted to do. And he really encouraged me. And I remember that day and I selected aviation. And then through flight school, I selected F-18s and kind of my career just kind of took off. What was it like at that time being one of the first female fighter pilots in the Navy? That's a great question. There still today is not that many women that fly um, F-18s or really fly any aircraft in the military. I think that, you know, we all have our own unique experiences. And for me, when I was in flight school, there was a few, I had a few other women and I was just focusing on finishing flight school. And then I got to my first squadron and there was two women actually that joined the squadron at the same time and then the war started. So there was never a focus on, you know, who are the girls in the squadron. It was a focus on doing our job and fighting the war and being the best pilots we could be, providing the best support we could provide for the troops and the soldiers and sailors and Marines on the ground. So that's what I focused on. And it was never, I never really thought about the gender aspect of what I did or what my job was. And I just made sure that I was the best pilot I could be, that I was credible, that I was capable. So you deployed pretty early on in your career. I did. I, I joined my first squadron in 2001, so right before 9-11, and then we deployed uh, in 2002. So I believe we were the second carrier to deploy after the war started. And then I did a whole deployment over there, um, and then I did a whole deployment in 2002, and then right after that is when I went to Top Gun and then went to, um, did another deployment after that as well. So what was it like flying your F-18 on that first deployment? My first deployment was a challenging. It was um, very, it was a very serious deployment. We were the second carrier to deploy after the war started. And I think we were all just focused on doing our mission and making sure we were doing it safely and effectively so that we could provide the support that the troops on the ground needed. All right, and you were the first female pilot graduate of the Navy's Top Gun program. Can you talk about that? Sure, I was. Um, I went through Top Gun in 2004, and um, it, I knew it was something that I wanted to do after my first appointment. And so I applied for it and was selected, and that was a, a true honor to be selected. I was truly focused on just being the best pilot I could be, and for me, that meant going to Top Gun. There were some tactics and procedures that uh, I knew I wanted to help develop, and Top Gun is where those tactics are developed. And so that was, it was clear to me that I wanted to go to Top Gun. I had a great experience at Top Gun. It's an incredible school. It is where you truly learn to be the best at your craft, which for me was flying at F-18. You um, learn to be an instructor. You are um, just really taught how to be an instructor. It's a humbling course. And uh, it was really, it was a great experience. And I think the question a lot of us want to know is, how does the Navy's Top Gun compare to the movies? That is a great question and one that I have gotten a lot, uh, especially since the new movie came out. Um, you know, I think the new movie did a great job of 
sort of showcasing the, the Navy's capability in the F-18. The, the, the flying scenes were real in the movie. And you know, the Top Gun, you know, it's hard to equate that. It's, it's very different to what Top Gun is, but I do think it was a great movie. Um, and my family and I enjoyed seeing it. But the flying scenes were real. It's, it's exciting. Am I allowed to ask, what was your call sign? My call sign is Sam because my last name was Adams and now it's Calder and I kept Sam. You keep your call sign. So, um, were there any like scary moments when you were flying or anything during your deployments or career that you want to talk about? You know, during my first deployment, I was a brand new F-18 pilot. I had just joined the squadron. Um, I, I, I guess it was less than a year um, before we went on deployment. And during that deployment, we did have to do some things that um, that were hard, that were scary, that we weren't trained for. Um, but I just credit, I credit the uh, other pilots in my squadron. I credit our training program, our training officer. And we made it through that deployment. And, you know, we just did the best that we could. And we hope that we provided the support that the troops on the ground needed. So sometimes we hear about pilot shortages uh, in the military. What would you say to aspiring pilots, especially maybe aspiring female pilots who want to go down that road? You know, we do hear about uh, pilot shortage and really retention in all of the services. And I would just encourage people, if you have any inkling, if there's, if there's an idea in, uh, in you, in, in your heart, in your mind that you want to serve, then, then do it. Serving the country for me was the greatest career that I could have had. It's been, it's my honor. It was um, challenging. It was exciting. And literally it was something that I, I didn't know that I wanted to do. Um, but if there are people that know that they want to be, be a pilot, just go for it. There are so many programs. I was actually talking to some young people today and they said, you know, what, what can I do to be a pilot? There are so many programs and scholarships that are out there um, to start your journey, to, to learn to fly and to help you get a step ahead if that's what you want to do. And we need, we need people, we need good people, we need pilots, we need officers. And um, I say go for it. After you graduated Top Gun, what was the rest of your career trajectory with the Navy? After Top Gun, I was still active duty for a few more years, and then I joined um, the Navy Reserves. So I spent the last 10 years in the Navy Reserves, and um, yeah, I just retired on June 1st, so it was pretty exciting. And what is next for you? Next for me, that is a loaded question. I um, Right now, I would say the hardest thing that I'm doing is um, trying to raise two humans that are incredible and I'm, um, I'm so proud of them. I have two children, Tyler and Charlotte. So they are uh, 11 and 12. Um, we just moved to Reno. My husband also just retired. And so he is starting uh, a new career. And I'm actually in the middle of a PhD program studying leadership. So I'm hoping to finish my PhD um, to be a you know, somewhat successful parent and, um, and just see what, what happens. Do you still fly at all? I don't. I haven't flown since um, my daughter, actually. So I stopped flying after I had kids. So I miss it. I miss it. I was jealous of my husband that he got to fly uh, for his whole 26 years. Um, I do miss it. And you guys, Matt, was he also in the Navy? He was in the Navy and super cheesy. We met at Top Gun. No, no beach scene story? Or? <laughs> no, not at all. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It was great to meet you. Thank you for having me.